Cebuano's life in Japan. I'm from Cebu. I'm called a Cebuano. Okay, so I will I will tell you uh, little differences and the big similarities of how it is or how a foreigner is in Japan. You've probably seen this too. Let me start. Okay. So I'm from Cebu and people from Cebu are called Bisaya. And Cebu and Japan, the distance is 2014 miles between each other. And Cebu is very small compared to Japan or even Tokyo. This is Cebu. This is the center of Cebu, Cebu City. This is called Fuente Osmania Circle. This kind of road is very popular in Cebu because it connects the city center to the government of Cebu. Now, when you fly to Cebu and come to Japan, the first thing you know that this person is a foreigner is by how he acts in an escalator, right? Because a foreigner does not know <laughs> that when you that you have to stand on one side of an escalator and to walk on the other, and that's probably a telltale sign that one person is a foreigner. This side, this is a picture of Shinagawa Station. This is my home station. This is where I live. This is where I go every day. And even in stations, there is an etiquette, a particular etiquette, uh, that you have to stand on one side and walk on the other. When you go to the train in, 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 in Japan, for example, you will notice that many foreigners are noisy. And that's how you tell. Uh, these are my friends when we were going to Kamakura. This is a train to Kamakura. And we were also noisy, <laughs> so we have to apologize. The difference though is in Japan, you have trains. But in Cebu, you have jeepneys. If you ride a jeepney, that's why we are noisy, because a jeepney is open. And we don't pay for, for using a suika. We pay using our money and give it to the driver. <laughs> And another difference is how convenient it is in Japan by the vending machines literally everywhere. This is in Shibuya. <laughs> you have vending machines literally everywhere so you can drink everywhere. In Cebu, you have to find a store. <laughs> okay. And another thing is that a foreigner will always complain about walking. Japanese walk a lot. <laughs> I've noticed that. I've, I've literally been tired of walking in, in Tokyo. This is a picture I took in Shibuya, in Shibuya Crossing, where a lot of people cross every day. Almost a million people cross every day. And now, I think this is a, one thing that's similar. This is the Mactan Cebu Bridge that connects Cebu City, or the mainland of Cebu, to the airport. And uh, that airport takes me to Japan, to Tokyo. And that bridge is very similar to, do you know this bridge? This is the Rainbow Bridge in Otaiba. And this, is, this will be my next home on October because I will be moving from Shinagawa to Otaiba on October. And that's it. Thank you very much. I hope you had a fun time listening to how I live or how what the observing my observations in Japan. Thank you.